Okay, let's look at standard 17, substandard B. Explain factors uh, that led to the dust bowl include over farming and climate and the resulting movement migration with. So we've got to talk about two things. What caused the dust bowl? Two things, over farming and climate and then the movement and migration west is very important we can't leave that out so our focus is the dust bowl in the language of the standards and migration west also is uh, our elements dust bowl and migration west migration and movement is extremely important here in the midwest or are actually on the great plains we talked about in the great plains there were uh let's see in this area here right in here where the dust bowl is going to occur Oklahoma Texas Colorado all around in that area uh, the dust bowl where it's going to happen there used to be a bunch of buffalo grass growing there had this thick uh, very you know I don't know soil that was very uh, moisture a lot of moisture in there but what's going to happen because of the falling prices and farm products and the mechanization of farm uh, utility like a uh, tractor here in this plow farmers are going to want to produce more and more and more as the prices drop and this machine use of machine labor and this new these new inventions in farming are going to cause the overproduction over farming in the great plains area like this plow and tractor here harvesters fertilizer even animal breeding has become more scientific more improvements are going to create the situation where farmers are going to overproduce agricultural products and commodities breaking of the land it's going to create this ecological disaster where this buffalo grass that was keeping the uh, the dirt from being blown away by the winds and the soil from being eroded is going to be taken out of the way this buffalo grass will by these machines that are going to be used to make more and more wheat more and more products agriculturally out on the Great Plains so this overproduction and over farming of the Plains area and the deterioration of the soil because the buffalo grass that had grown there for thousands and thousands of years has gone these large winds are going to be able to come through there and blow that away that dirt away cause soil erosion it's an environmental disaster during the Great Depression and they were trying to deal with these falling prices. They felt like if they produced more, they would get more money. It's a natural thing, a way to react. And climate was another reason for the Dust Bowl. The Great Plains, as we experienced, were dry already. Didn't get much rainfall. And there was a severe drought there. And then these dust storms, these wind picks up this, the dirt and the dust just flies in the air. It's amazing how it looks and it's going to hit these prairies out on the Great Plains and the wind's going to pick this dirt up and throw it all over the place. These extremely dry conditions with this wind and with this drought is going to create the dust bowl. Dry conditions and winds. Alright, so we can say over farming, drought, intense heat and winds cause this dust bowl to happen right here and around these five states right here in the Great Plains and we refer to that as the Dust Bowl there's a map of the Dust Bowl there and here's the area of the Plains uh, we've talked about this area before the Great Plains we've looked at this little relief map here and showed the Great Plains here was a lift of the land or just elevation look again higher and higher from the east to the west coming from the Mississippi and the Missouri River over here towards the Rocky Mountains Sierra Nevada and that's what we call the plains and it's right in here where the dust bowl is going to happen right in this area here and we talked about the Great Plains and we said that the characteristics were flatlands that rise gently from east to west low rainfall dry conditions dust storms were common there and the land's going to be eroded by wind and water and create this situation where all this dust and stuff is going to be blown. Here's the hardest hit part here in this area, here in Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, and Colorado is the worst part here. But that's when it's going to be blown all the way over to the west coast. And here's the outlying area here that was hit hard. And so the people there in that area are going to get out of there, and they're going to leave, especially. These Okies from Oklahoma are going to get out of there and they're going to head on Route 66 all the way out to California. 
and here's some pictures of the dust bowl here's this dust huge dust being blown into this area here here's some other ones showing a dust that's blown out in the Great Plains here's a different look it was this dust moved around was so bad it it buried like farm equipment like this here through this dirt up on top of this equipment here's a tractor that's been buried extreme soil erosion and dust been blown look at this erosion here it's incredible here's a car and a wagon that's just covered up totally by dust almost almost buried here's a car an old Ford almost covered up Here's uh, some soil erosion here around this house. There's some more where some wind went through and eroded that. All because this buffalo grass was was taken away by this over farming techniques and all this drought and heat and all. Here's a house almost covered up with it. People had to shovel this stuff out of their homes. They had to put little blankets in their, in their windows to try to keep it out. We're going to see in a minute kids had to wear masks because they had a lot of breathing problems with breathing in all this dust. Here's where some cows fell dead. You know, they said they cut these cows open and dust just come out. It was really bad. You know, some people said it was uh, almost biblical when they thought Revelations was, was coming, the end of Earth, because they saw locusts and grasshoppers. Just a plague is more than one. It's this huge, just darkened cloud of lo locusts and uh, grasshoppers flying through the air. And here's a picture here where some were on the post. Here's a little diagram I put there so you can see this locust. There's a little wooden panel shows them crawling all over the place. They're trying to get out of that wind. Actually, here's some rabbits that were actually running all over the place. Uh, they didn't have anything to eat. You know, buffalo grass is gone on water. They're looking for a water source. Here's a picture where they're just numbered around this water hole trying to get water because they just went through this dust storm and uh, the people would go out there that lived in that area and, and kill these rabbits in droves, what they call rabbit drives. Knock them in the head with a stick. And here's some kids wearing a mask to school or wherever they went to in the community and here's a different picture of that going on. So that's the dust bowl and that's what caused it, the dry and, and the dryness and the drought and the wind and the over farming and over production that remove that buffalo grass and moisture from it caused the land to be eroded. Movement and migration west to California in search for work is extremely important for us to understand is after this uh, great after this dust bowl that people just picked up from Oklahoma here these Okies and they're going to take Route 66 this road here here's somebody heading out there and they're going to leave and go through here and all the way up to Los Angeles California and through California they call California the land of milk and honey so they were getting out of the Dust Bowl and heading to California. When they get there, they're not going to find much. But Hooverville's to live in, homeless. There's not any jobs in California either. Here are some pictures of some people who just threw their stuff on these, on these, on these cars. Uh, one guy said jalopies. He called these jalopies. These old cars. Here's some people walking. This is a different picture. A lot of these pictures I'm showing you were taken by Dorothy Alanig in there in the Library of Congress. Here's some trains being hopped by some people out of Oklahoma. Here's a car here. The Oakleys. Oakies, Oklahoma's going to California. Got everything loaded up. Here somebody had a flat tire. Here's a baby sitting here and the mother. There's a bed up here. Just whatever they could get, you know, and take with them. Look at the mattresses here. Here's some people heading out west of California. The guy there, you can look at some of their tags and see 1936 on them right there during the Great Depression when this was going on. Here's one where some mattresses are here and there's a mother and three children and there's the father out here fixing the axle or something that went bad on the vehicle. It's a different look here of a family here changing the tire. And there's that's a bed in there to keep them. I don't know, something. And there's a 36, see 1936 there, he's got his stuff loaded up and he's headed out to California. And uh, here's a different, yeah that's that one. That's a line of vehicles heading to California right there. Migrating west, moving west is what we talked about. And, uh, the Grapes of Wrath was John Steinbeck's novel. It captures where these Okies are being displaced by this 
uh, Dust Bowl and this tragedy that's happened out in Oklahoma in these five states and how they are forced to remove themselves to California. He captures it in this book. It's one of his best books. It got him na national fame and notoriety for this book. And in the inscription it says, In the souls of the people the grapes of wrath are filling and growing heavy, growing heavy for the vintage. And the name of his book is The Grapes of Wrath. And in it we see uh, that is a quote from this hymnal, the battle cry, the battle hymn of the Republic. You see this in your church hymnal, uh, and you see you can read it here. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed the fateful lightning of his terrible swift sword. In other words, the hymn. Uh, summons God to bring justice to those who wreak havoc over these poor migrant workers and he's punishing those landowners and those people that caused the Great Depression. That's basically what he's trying to, the point he's trying to make and that's the Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. And with that, you know, we talked about this Migration West in his book, you're going to see that. 350,000 people are going to flee the Dust Bowl area and migrate west to California to the land of milk and honey, these Okies. And we talked about what caused this Dust Bowl out here on the Great Plains. We talked about that already. I think we met those. It's uh, over farming, drought, and intense heat, this climate situation, and these new farm equipment, and the deterioration of this buffalo grass. So we've met these elements, Dust Bowl, Migration West, explain the factors including over farming and climate that led to the Dust Bowl and the resulting movement and migration west. If you have any questions about this, you ask me in class, raise your hand. Good luck on the quiz test in the OCT.